Hello, today I will talk about coronary heart disease. Ischemic or coronary heart disease is an imbalance in coronary oxygen demand and supply, resulting from insufficient blood flow. In most of cases, the reduction in blood flow is caused by coronary atherosclerotic disease. When the atherosclerotic plaque ruptures, there is superimposed thrombus formation that acutely occludes the artery. This is the most common cause of life-threatening acute coronary syndromes. Rarely, other abnormalities may occur, such as, artery embolism, artery spasm, arteritis, and artery dissection, which may cause coronary heart disease in the absence of atherome formation. The more risk factors a person has, the greater the chance that he will develop heart disease. Also, the greater the level of each risk factor, the greater the risk. For example, a person with total cholesterol 260 mg per deciliter, has a greater risk than someone with total cholesterol 220 mg per deciliter. Even though all people with total cholesterol more than 220 are considered high risk. The risk factors divided into modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. Modifiable risk factors include, 1. Elevated cholesterol level. LDL is most important subgroup, but, low HDL, hypertriglyceridemia, increased ratio of total LDL to HDL, and increased lipoproteina, also increase risk. When other risk factors, such as high blood pressure and tobacco smoke, are present, the risk increases even more. So, high-intensity statins should be given if LDL greater than 190 mg per deciliter. The second modifiable risk factor is tobacco. A smoker's risk of heart attack is greater than two times that of a non-smoker. Also, second-hand smoke, or passive smoking, increases the risk of heart disease, even for non-smokers. The third modifiable risk factor is hypertension. Hypertension is a well-established risk factor for increased risk of myocardial ischemia, stroke, kidney failure, and heart failure. Treatment of hypertension to optimal levels reduces the risk of coronary heart disease in all cardiovascular events. In fact, data from recent randomized trials suggest that reducing blood pressure less than 130 is beneficial in patients with cardiovascular disease. Obesity and diabetes are also modifiable risk factors. Increased body fat especially if concentrated in the waist area increases the risk for ischemic heart disease and stroke. Excess weight also raises blood pressure, blood cholesterol, and triglyceride levels, and it lowers HDL cholesterol. It can also increase risk for type 2 diabetes by causing insulin resistance. Elevated blood glucose and insulin resistance are associated with overall cardiovascular events. Even when glucose is under control, diabetes greatly increases the risk of ischemic heart. There are some non-modifiable risk factors, such as age, sex and hereditary. About 80% of people who die of it are age greater than 65. Also, women who develop myocardial ischemia at an older age have a higher mortality than men within the first few weeks of the cardiac event. Men have a greater risk of it than women, and overall they develop cardiovascular disease earlier in life. Also, family history is a significant independent risk factor if there is a family history of premature disease. There are minor contributing risk factors, such as sex hormones and stress. Women after menopause have a higher risk of heart disease than before menopause, due to the decrease of natural estrogen. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel to see part 2 soon.